years, the Valor Clinic in Monroe County has been providing assistance and shelter for veterans, but the nonprofit organization is currently struggling with funding to assist veterans in need. Fox 56's Taylor Wharton B spoke to a veteran from Valor who has turned his life around because of the foundation. Bill Parkin is one of those veterans who was able to transform his future with the help of the Valor Clinic Foundation. However, now the local nonprofit needs more funding to help veterans keep doing what they do for veterans like him. I spoke to Parkin in Kidder Township where their program Veterans Unstoppable is located. What this does is it helps veterans with homelessness problems, traumatic brain injury, PTSD, and things of that nature. We help them get back on their feet. We have a transition home that we bring them into, put them through a program, and we help get them a job, housing, up to and including the furniture for the housing. Everything's costing a lot more now, and we're out here having a hard time surviving. Parkin, who struggles with PTSD, volunteers at the Valor Clinic Foundation, where he leads by example for other veterans who are in a position like he once was. I help counsel the other veterans with it, and they relate to me because they know I went through it and see how well it worked. Got to keep giving back. And with all the community support that we have, it helps us to do more projects for the veterans. You know, we bring them up here to the retreat area, they go through the program, we teach them how to fly fish, we have hunting weekends. To help fund these projects going forward, they are relying on their 11th annual golf tournament. Being a wife of a veteran who has gone through the program, and it has helped him tremendously as far as his PTSD and other issues that he's had, um, the weekend retreat, really helped him. So it's important to me to continue these programs. The golf tournament is their biggest source of funding, which will be held on June 15th at the Country Club of the Poconos. Reporting in Carbon County, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. And that golf tournament will have two start times in a.m. and a p.m. Those interested can head over to fox56.com for more information.